right, welcome to the Late Show, everybody. I'm Stephen Colbert. Uh, wow. It has been a rough week for Hillary Clinton. She has been dropping in the polls, and over the weekend, even her immune system turned against her. No surprise, all the white blood cells are voting for Trump. I'll have to. Thank you very much. Probably, probably. Yeah. Thank yeah. you very much. Yes. <laughs> that deserves it. No, I'll have more about Hillary's health uh, over there. Uh, but most damaging of all uh, may have been a remark she made at a fundraiser on Friday when describing Trump's voters. To just be grossly generalistic, you could put half of Trump's supporters into what I call the basket of deplorables. <laughs> I'm sorry. The basket of deplorables? Wow. Hillary should put her insults in the hamper of awkwardness. <laughs> what even, what is, have you ever heard that phrase I've before? I've never heard that one what before. What is, what is a basket, basket of, deplorables? of deplorables? Okay? Uh -huh. It sounds like the worst selling item at edible arrangements. <laughs> <laughs> or, 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 or maybe, or, or maybe your cousin's suburban punk band. <laughs> Or even better, maybe the Korean translations of the Minion movie. <laughs> I'd go see that. Uh, that sounds hey. like a fun movie, Basket yeah. of Deplorables. I might be, I might take four friends and go as the Basket of Deplorables for Halloween. Oh, yeah. that's a good thing. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> that, that's called an inside joke. Thankfully. <laughs> <laughs> Thankfully, Secretary Clinton explained just what she was talking about. The basket of deplorables. <laughs> the racist, sexist, homophobic, xenophobic, Islamophobic, you name it. Secretary Clinton, um, I know you're the candidate, but here's a tip. If you want to be president, don't call the American people names. <laughs> I mean, even if you're elected, no one wants to hear my fellow Americans, the state of our union is one quarter douchebag. <laughs> this guy knows what I'm talking about. <laughs> and I think it's an unfair generalization. Do Trump's rallies attract some people who say awful racist things? Of course. But that's just the guy on stage. <laughs> and apparently... <laughs> yes? Yes? <laughs> And apparently, Secretary Clinton agrees because over the weekend, she emerged from her coma long enough <laughs> to issue a statement walking back her comments, uh, walking back thusly. Last night, I was grossly generalistic. I regret saying half. That was wrong. <laughs> really? 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 You regret saying half, but you're still cool with basket of deplorables? <laughs> What is it with older women and their love of baskets? There's a basket for the TV remote. There's a basket for the mail. The toilet paper gets a basket and a little wool hat. <laughs> yeah, big fan. Big fan of the wool hat on the toilet paper over there. Got to keep it warm. And of course, after all this, Donald Trump jumped all over it. Never in history has a major party presidential candidate so viciously demonized the American voter. She called them racist, sexist, xenophobic, Islamophobic. Yeah, what's she gonna call them next? Murderers and rapists? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Those are taken. <laughs> okay. They remember. They remember. It happened. It happened. It, it happened. happened. It happened. Say hello to John Baptiste and stay human, everybody. <laughs>